Here are the best tips how to make absurd amounts of money in Norland. The best way to get money in Norland is basically through trading agreements. And I will show you in this video why trade agreements are so great and also which are the best trading goods in the game. On day two, we want to establish our first trade agreement with another kingdom. And we want to sell Ruta Buggers to them because here we get three times the price than with the trader. Now we're getting each day one guaranteed trade and getting a lot of money for really a small amount of Ruta Buggers. Here we're getting now five gold per moonshine and that's really good because the trader would only give us free gold per moonshine. It's really important that you're making the trade agreements always with your lord who has the highest trade skill because then you're getting even more money on top. Next up, we're selling flour to improve more and more our income. One thing you should really keep in mind is you should never export twice the same thing. It's way better to export multiple things. In addition, we're also making a beer deal next. And you give me 11 per item, which is pretty good. And we're getting even 13 like this because our trader is super Gucci. So give us the money, guys. Easy. I mean, now the economy is like pretty solid, guys. What can I say? 400 economy per day. Getting now 270 more per day. There's one golden rule, guys. Only sell things which you banked up and which you can produce easily. Next up, getting the tools, guys. Next deal in the bag. Getting for nine tools, 360 gold daily. While trading, you're also improving the relationships to other kingdoms a lot. Next up, getting eight spears for 320 daily. Or even more if you send our managed trade. And then you can also get easily heavy armor for 1k on its own. Easy peasy. And like this, you can easily get till day 26 2000 daily gold income with just four deals of really high quality goods. And on top, you have already really high bank, anyways. Now we're also selling shields for 80 per item, which gives us a total of 700 more income. By the way, which production do we use for this in our kingdom? The most important buildings are a double lumber mill plus the correct cutting upgrade. Double brewery, one Ruta Baker field and two rye fields and two hop fields. And obviously you upgrade every production building to level 3. What you can easily see here is that you don't need to sell a lot of goods to make a lot of money. You just need to sell the right things guys. This puts us on a total value of trading daily goods of nearly 3000 gold. If you like the video then subscribe and like there guys. Thanks.